Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this fire text effect that you can see in front of you here. Uh, if some of you have ever tried, you know, experimenting, trying to create your own fire uh, effect, uh, if you've ever had a look online, uh, a lot of tutorials showing you how to make um, a fiery effect will include you using a uh, high-res image of some flames and then you moulding those into your images or your text. Um, Obviously, I haven't done that here. This is really quick and simple. It'll take you a few minutes to do. Um, therefore, it doesn't look quite as good, but it gives off, you know, maybe it may, just you know a quick and easy effect that does, you know, it does resemble some flames or the f or the colours anyway uh, that help it with the with the effect. Um, okay, so yeah, you don't need anything uh, else apart from just uh, your version of Photoshop. Um, and some lettering basically. So let's get started. So if you hit Control N, um, the option key and N, or go far on then new on your keyboard. And we're going to use a width of 600 pixels, height of 600 pixels, and hit OK. Just going to double click and unlock the background layer. Hit OK, there we go. And we're just going to swap the foreground and background colours, and we're going to use the paint bucket tool to make our background black. Switch back to the foreground colour as white and then select our text tool. Drag the text box out. And you want to set the size to 100 point and regular, that's fine. And then I've selected chalk duster for mine because as you can see from what I'm typing, it gives this nice, uh, almost burning, maybe cut out, maybe slightly, almost, it almost looks like. Um, I don't know. Some of the text has been almost scratched away, like like it would be on a chalkboard. But hence the hence the name, which I think works well with the effect. But you can play around, obviously, and change that. You have to do it now because we're going to change this layer type in a minute. But uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, we then need to duplicate this layer, so it's Control J or uh, Option Key J if you're on a Mac, and then we're going to hide that copy layer. Okay. And then we're going to click on the text layer. We're going to layer, rasterize and type. And then we're going to press shift, click on layer 0, which is our background layer, and then double click or two click if you're on a Mac, and then click merge visible, that joins those together. We are then going to go to image, image rotation 90 degrees clockwise, and do that. Then go to filter, we're then going to go to stylize and wind, and the settings you need to use are blast and from the left. Okay, um, this effect obviously you know greatly depends on the amount and the length of the flames that you have on this. So um, depending on how much you want will depend on um, how many times you repeat this effect. So I've done it once here. The uh, first example I showed you on at the beginning of the video, the effect I I applied the wind filter three times. Okay, including the one at the beginning. So I've done this once already. I'm going to just do it twice. Because as you can see, that's three times, and that's a bit much. But that's two times, and that's probably about right. So we're going to leave it there and go to back to image. Image rotation will go 90 degrees counterclockwise. We'll drop it back around. And then what we need to do is we need to go to filter and blur, and then Gaussian blur. And we're going to give that a radius of two pixels, which is what we got in there. And hit OK. And then what you want to do is you want to hit uh, Control U or um, Command U if you're on a Mac will bring up the hue and saturation panel. Uh, just tick colorize. I'll move it out of the way so you can see. There you are. And then I'm going to push the saturation up to 100. And then we're just going to choose a kind of orangey color. There we go. And then we're going to duplicate the layer again. That's Control J, uh, Option Key J. And we're going to select the blend mode on that to color dodge. And there you are. That is pretty much the fiery effect. As you, you can see, you know that is the kind of you know the white hot white, obviously of you know ashes. If you're looking at a flame, or the or, you know the center um, center piece. If you you know strike a match, have a look at the middle of it. It goes white, and then you get the lighter color, which is just above that, which is the you know the burning yellow. And then it fades away into you know a dark, a light orange, and then a darker, more ready orange. As it and then it tapers away. Um, exactly like a flame does. So there you go. Um, all I did extra at the beginning, which I didn't actually show you, I um, put a colour overlay on. I don't really like it, but if you want to go further, this is where the text at the top comes in. So if you click on that and click show, 
and then right click and go blending options. All I did was I put in a drop shadow on this top one. I'm really not that keen on it, but I'll show you it anyway, just in case in case you wanted to use it. Feel free. Change the distance to two pixels and the size to two pixels and the opacity to sixty. Um doing inner shadow exactly the same settings. Sixty two and two. Let's pull that up slightly. And we'll do a colour overlay. And I I use that red. Um it doesn't look as good as the first take because I think, to be honest, it is a bit too big. There's no point dropping the pasty down because it just looks, it just doesn't look good. So if you're gonna have a color, fine. But I don't think that looks that great. I'm sure you can do something with it. But I quite like that. Um, again, you can use this effect actually in different ways. Uh, you can almost use it in a, like a neon, a neon color, I suppose. Um, so let me just show you what I mean. If I just go select that, let's see, edit, copy merged, and paste, paste that back on. Oh, what have I done to my screen? Sorry, just moved it a bit. Hey, oh, didn't I like do that on the Mac? I want to go straight. <laughs> right, well, that'll do. That's near enough. Sorry about the angle. I'll work out that later. Right, so if we move that one down there, uh, yeah, that's fine. And then if we grab these two layers again, so if we take the bottom layer and hit Control U again, bring up hue and saturation. And if we just tick colorize, put that back on, change the hue, you can get like um, almost like a neon effect out of this. As hopefully you can see from this top layer, which actually looks quite cool, changing the color. So I want a, a bluey one like that. Change the top layer to match, obviously. Um, sorry. Well, a bit colorize, saturation up. There we go. Uh, as you can see, obviously with the flame effect, you know the merging color. The color dodge looks a lot better than it on, does on this one. So if you do want to use it on a different color, use soft light because it will blur the edges a bit more slightly and it will put it will drop the secondary color around the top a bit more, which is like that. So I think there you've got you know two really easy, nice effects to use. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Um, please comment, uh, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. I uh, hope to have a few more videos out later on in the week. So uh, stay tuned. Cheers, guys.